Now we'll talk about the limit of a function as x approaches infinity. And what we often end up with in this, this discussion is a horizontal asymptote. So suppose as x gets really big, and that's what we mean by x approaching infinity, as x gets really big, the function approaches some particular y value, in this case, that value there. So again, I have this uh, in, in quotes here because x doesn't really approach infinity. x doesn't get close to infinity. What we mean is as x gets really large, as x gets really huge, the function in this case approaches a particular y value. And that's a horizontal asymptote. Here's an example. Uh, f of x is 4 over x squared minus 2x plus 2. And if we graph this, it goes through the point 1, 4, and it goes through these two points here, 0, 2, and 2, 2. And, and it looks like this. And that's a smooth curve across the top. That's not a point there. And there's a horizontal asymptote here at y equals 0. And we know that we have a horizontal asymptote at y equals 0 because we can look at the denominator and the numerator. Think of each of these as a polynomial. This is obviously a polynomial. This is 2, just a very simple one. And the degree of the polynomial here, this is a degree 2, the degree of the denominator is greater than the degree of the numerator. And so as x gets huge, you can see if we go out really far in the x direction, putting in big numbers for x, the denominator will get huge. And the numerator in this case isn't doing anything at all. So as the denominator gets big, the value of the fraction, this whole fraction, approaches 0. So as x gets big, the value of the function gets lower and lower, closer and closer to 0. We can express this in limit notation by writing this. The limit as x approaches infinity. And let's specifically say as x approaches positive infinity. The limit of this function as x approaches positive infinity is 0. This means as x gets really big, this function approaches a limiting value of 0. So all this is is uh, using limit notation to describe the horizontal asymptote. And then we can also say this, the limit as x appro approaches negative infinity of f of x is equal to 0. So as x gets really big in the negative direction, gets very, very negative, the value of the function goes again to 0 in this particular case. And again, the language is not technically correct because x never really approaches infinity, but the meaning is clear. This means as x gets really big or as x gets really, really negative. And note that we would never use this notation. We would never say the limit as x approaches infinity from the positive side. That doesn't make any sense. You would never have something bigger than infinity approaching infinity from the positive side. So we never, we never see that notation. But these are pretty common. Here's another example. f of x is 3x squared minus 3 over x squared plus x. And we're told to use limit notation to describe the behavior of the function as x grows without bound, or in other words, as x approaches infinity. Well, in this case, we're going to have a horizontal asymptote again. And you might be able to tell just by looking that the horizontal asymptote will be at y equals 3. That's our answer. y equals 3 is our horizontal asymptote. And sometimes people abbreviate that HA, horizontal asymptote at y equals 3. Now, how do we know that? Well, if you imagine x getting really huge, look at the numerator. As x gets big, this 3x squared is going to be much more significant than that 3. So the, the 3 becomes insignificant compared to the 3x squared. And apply the same thinking to the denominator. As x gets really huge, x squared becomes gigantic compared to x. 
Sure, x is getting big, but x squared is getting bigger much faster, so the x becomes insignificant compared to the x squared. In other words, in your numerator, we can ignore all the lower power terms, just look at the highest power term, and in the denominator, ignore all the lower power terms, just look at the highest power term. So as x gets large, so as x grows without bound, then f of x behaves like, it's very similar to this, 3x squared over x squared, because these other terms are insignificant. And then clearly the x squareds here cancel. And so we're just left with 3. So f of x is approximately equal to 3. Now in limit notation, we want to express this in limit notation, we'd say the limit as x approaches, let's say, positive infinity, the limit as x approaches positive infinity of f of x is equal to 3. And you can also say the limit as x approaches negative infinity of f of x equals 3. And you could graph that and see a horizontal asymptote at the value y equals 3, but you don't have to graph it. You can get the same result just analytically, just by looking at the, the, the function and thinking about what happens to the numerator and denominator as x gets really, really large in either the positive or the negative direction.